Hello there gamers, I'm the 8-Bit Ninja and today we are back again with another episode of PID. So today we're going to be going on the moon and getting to the moon base. I'm not sure how long it's going to take us and we might die quite a few times on the way there. Oh yikes. But as you can see there's a lot of stuff going outside on the moon. Going on outside on the moon. Uh, sadly there's not really an easy way around it though. So we're just going to rush through it and hope that we don't die too many times. Alright, so we seem to be doing alright so far. Alright, so I've died uh, three times now? I don't even remember, but uh, yeah. You might die quite a few times on this place as I have. Oh, yikes. But hopefully we'll make it through this time and not die. But as I said, you will die quite a few times on this place. But as I was saying, uh, this is the last place actually. This place, not this place specifically, but inside of the moon base is the last uh, section of the game. And once we beat that, that will be the end of the game, and it should be pretty awesome. I have not beat the game, so if you have any questions at all about the game, feel free to ask, and I will be able to answer any of them now. Alright, and we are back. Now, I have died about three times on this part, just trying to figure out the best way to get past it. Now, the best way I have found is to go ahead and step up right above it, and then get your bombs out, and throw them down on it, and just blow it up, just to make things easier. Oh, yikes. Okay. There we go. So now we can just walk across with no troubles whatsoever. You should also get a few bombs. I don't think we actually got them that time, but you should get a few bombs from that uh, so that you're not too low on bombs. And now we continue on to the moon base. Now the moon base can be a bit tricky. It's not too challenging uh, puzzle-wise, but you might die quite a few times as you do throughout PID, but uh, I don't think we'll struggle with it too much. Alright, and I've died again now. Now we're not actually to the moon base yet, I didn't realize that, but uh, I only went through this part one time, so you can't really blame me all that much, but oh well. So we're going to go ahead and jump up here and grab all of these, and we're going to go ahead and equip this right here. There we go. Now if we go ahead and come out on this, oh yikes, that didn't work too well. Alright, so if we just run through here like that, there we go, we're alive and making it. Alright, so if we go ahead and talk to this reporter right here, we should get some more information. Alright, so those of you who um, who have been following the story closely enough, uh, you should know that Bryce is in fact the evil guy, the evil boss now that we are trying to defeat. Now we will see him at the end of this world place, and that shouldn't be too much longer until we actually get to fight him. And fighting him is not too hard. Uh, we'll go ahead and grab this stuff just because it's easy to get to. So we go ahead and put on our boots like that. There we go. We are now uh, immune to all of that. And we can grab all the stuff that we need. And we'll go ahead and re-equip our blast beam and come back down here into the entrance. Yikes. Alright. So this is still not the official entrance, I don't think. We're just trying to get to the moon base. So this might be a bit messy, uh, me trying to get into it. But it can be a bit confusing. Mainly because there's just so much going on. Alright, so if we go ahead and stand on these platforms, this part is actually really easy to make through, so you shouldn't struggle with it too much. And... yikes! Okay, that was close. Alright, and we are through yet at another part. Now this episode might be kind of messy, like I said, there's a lot going on, but I'm just trying to get to the moon base in this episode, and then it should clear out after that. Yikes! There's just so much going on at one time, it's hard to commentate on, so that's why it's a bit messy. Alright, let's see. Okay, so I forgot there was a hole there. Alright, so um, I forgot that was a hole right there, but okay, so we're back now. Now, like I said, this mess, this episode is going to be quite messy, but uh, there's not really much I can do about that, and hopefully we won't get shot here. Okay, come on. Go across. Alright, so if we go ahead and shoot a beam right there. Should then be able to jump our way over here, and there we go, we made it to where we want to get to. Okay, so we should almost be to the moon pace now, if I remember correctly, but, like I said, I only went through this place once, and this place is a giant ball of doom, so there's not much hope in me actually understanding what's happening here. Alright, so here's another guy, we're gonna stop and talk to him real fast. 
or her. Alright, so there we go. That should be the last person we have to talk to, and I believe now we are getting to the moon base, I believe. Uh, yes, okay, so we are finally up to the moon base. And in the moon base, we will see all sorts of different stuff. Nothing new. Um, we have now gotten all of the elements we used throughout the game, so there won't be anything new throughout the rest of the game. We will get two more souvenirs throughout the moon base and after the final boss. And yeah, it should be pretty interesting. Alright, what do we have to do here? I totally forgot. I believe we actually have to come back out. Oh, yes. Right, we have to come back out and go into the thing back here. You guys will see what I'm talking about in just a second. Alright, so there's all these anti-aircraft guns, but uh, apparently they don't do any good against uh, one specific aircraft, which should pop up at any moment now. There it is. Alright, here we go. And then we can now make our way up here. Alright, so if we go ahead and jump on up here, we can then push a button and go back in here, and we should have a bunch of new people to talk to and learn a bunch more about Bryce, because we really don't know much about him right now. Alright, so it is these guys again. I don't know what we should call these guys. They don't really have a specific name. They're just a group of people against Bryce. We'll call them that. Alright, so we talked to all of them, now we're going to go ahead and here, get up here and load up on some items that we might need throughout this next part. There isn't anything specifically that we'll need, we'll need life vests of course because those are very helpful. And we're going to get some bombs as well. The music boxes are not necessarily needed, although they are quite helpful. You don't need them, so there's no need on loading up on them. And there's not any in here anyways, so we're just going to get these two main things. Uh, these, uh, let's see, these uh, fog cloud things, the uh, smoke bombs, they are very helpful throughout this part. If you actually decide to use them, I didn't actually use them at all now that I think of it, and I probably should have, because they are quite helpful. Alright, so I believe we have to come and talk to her again before we leave. Alright, there we go, and once this bottom place lights up, you should then be able to leave, and we can now make our way into the moon base, and this episode has been really messy so far, but we should clean it up in the moon base, because that's when things become more of a puzzle, and not so much of a jumbled mess us of us just trying to survive. Alright, but let's go ahead and make our way into the moon base now. We'll go ahead and talk to this guy, who looks somewhat similar to Ken, only in a much more muscular form. Alright, so as you can see, that guy tricked the cameras into thinking it was Ken by disguising as him, although he doesn't look anything like Ken. It's a very interesting job he did there. But anyways, we're going to continue on through the moon base. Alright, and we seem to be having some lag there. Hopefully that will clear itself out here in a second. There we go. Alright, so I've died quite a few times now on this part. Uh, I don't know why I'm struggling with it too, so much. This part is pretty basic. All we have to do is shoot the beam and then loop back around. But how we're going to do that is go ahead and jump up here. And then shoot the beam and start running as fast as you can. Because you will have to go pretty fast to get past this part. Now hopefully that robot won't get in our way. And there we go. And made it. Okay, sweet. Now there are some parts like this that it's pretty much just a jumbled mess. And there's not really any easy ways across. Uh, you're just gonna have to try your best to get across. Okay, yikes. So if we go ahead and shoot a beam up there, that should open up this door right here. There we go, and we can get across. Go ahead and get rid of that. There we go. 
All right, and we are now across. Now with these guys, the best way I've found to get across is just go ahead and go over this first guy's head like so. There we go. And then go ahead and go through this vent. And now with this second guy, uh, I believe I actually, let's see, just ran right past him like that. There we go. All right. Go ahead and put that in there. I don't remember exactly what that does. That's what it does. Okay. So what we have to do here is don't light that up right now because we won't actually need that right now. Now if you want to blow this guy up, that will make things easier, but not necessary. So we're going to go ahead and throw one down right there and jump over this guy's head. There we go. Narrowly avoiding his detection. Nice. All right. We made it. Okay, now this part can be a bit tricky. Uh, I just suggest blowing this guy up. So we're gonna go ahead and get our three time, our three second bomb out and blow him up. So what we do is just throw that right there, throw a bomb into there, and that should deal with him. All right, sweet. We also get some sweet bonuses there as well as a three second bomb to make up for our losses. Go ahead and throw one in right there. And there we go. I believe that is actually about halfway through. I did actually take a bit longer with these things uh, my first time through because of the fact that I didn't know exactly what I was doing. But now that I know what I'm doing, it shouldn't take too long. Alright, now we're going to go through this middle part right here. Oh, yikes. There we go. This part can be a bit tricky to jump through. As you can see, one side is going faster than the other. You shouldn't struggle with it too much, though. Uh, it's just a, a tiny bit tricky. Alright, so what we're going to do here, you don't actually need to go down there, so we won't even bother with that. Now, what do we have to do here? If I can remember correctly, we have to go this way. Go ahead and activate this lever right here. There we go, that'll reverse that. And if we can beat the spike, we can then go up top. Right here. Alright, and then we just crawl our way down here. This could take a while, so... I'm going to go ahead and talk about what's going to be going on for next month. Uh, over the past couple days, I've been working on a lineup for games we're going to be doing next month. So far, I actually have come up with quite a few amazing looking games, amazing looking indie games, that I hope you guys will be interested in. I'm going to try and do more Let's Plays next month, uh, so that, oh wait, we got to go down here, so that I can keep you guys entertained and won't be quite so much uh, just walkthroughs and uh, boring stuff like this one where I'm just telling you how to do this stuff. But it'll be some entertaining videos and series and stuff like that. And also the live streaming every Sunday is still my plan. Not exactly sure on that still. And I'm not exactly sure when I'm going to do the test stream. That's that, I'm not sure when I'm going to figure that out officially. But for now, it's Sundays. That's the plan, at least. Alright, there we go. Now I believe what we have to do here... Let's see. Alright, okay. So if we go ahead and jump on up here... And then, let's see if I remember how to do this. And then jump on over just like that. There we go. That worked perfectly. Much better than I thought it would. Now, as you can see, there was bonuses up there, but we're not going to get those. Oh, looks like we took a bit of damage there, but we survived, so that's good. Okay, so moving on to the next part. Alright, so I've now died once on this part. This part can be a bit tricky uh, just because of the fact that there's just rockets shooting at you constantly. So we're going to go ahead and get our 3-bomb out and we're throw one down right there and go ahead and blow this gun up right here just to make it a bit easier. Now if we go ahead and go up like this, uh, we should then... Ooh, yikes. Okay, we got it activated. Now that part can be a bit tricky, so I would suggest blowing up the first one to get it done, but you don't have to, so do whatever you like. Alright, so that part is pretty simple. We just shoot that. Oh, yikes. Alright, so we just died again. Oh, don't hit us. There we go. Alright. Narrowly avoiding detection. There we go. And we made it again. Okay, now this part we're going to use... Yes, alright, we use the smoke bombs here. We don't actually have to use our own smoke bombs because they are instantly made by that. There we go. So if we go ahead and jump on down here, we should be able to make it without detection. There we go. Another one was created. Alright, as you can see, there's some smoke bombs up there. We're not going to need those, though, so we'll go ahead and just use this one. There we go. Oh, yikes. That was cutting it a bit close. And there we go. That should be the last one we need. Sweet. Alright, so we made it through that part. Barely made it through that part. Okay, there we go. And now we should be moving on to the harder parts of the moon base. So far, it's all been pretty simple and pretty easy. Uh, it does get a bit more challenging, though, with some new dead areas, or negative zones, as I like to call them. Uh, they're pretty much just areas where you can't make beams, or throw beams, or anything with beams involved you can't do in there. Alright, but first we have this laser section, which can be a bit challenging, but luckily isn't too hard. 
Alright, and we're back. Now, this part can be a bit challenging. I did die on this uh, uh, four times now, I believe, <laughs> but uh, it's not too hard, so we should make it this time. Uh, it's just simple mistakes on this part that'll catch you and get you killed, and we don't actually have a life vest, which can kind of be really annoying, but we're going to make it without dying anyways. Alright, so we go ahead and jump on down here. You can then crawl under this. You want to make sure your head isn't sticking out, or you will get snapped in the face by those lasers. Snapped in the face, that doesn't really make sense for a laser, but oh well. Alright, so go ahead and jump on up here, and then jump your way over here. And we're going to wait for that last one to pass over, and then we can go and pull that lever. There we go. Go ahead and pull this lever, and then we have to wait for it to come on back. Alright, so once it comes back, we're going to go ahead and go all the way back over to the right and then crawl under and jump over and just do all sorts of stuff to get back over to the left side underneath us there. Alright, there we go. Now we're going to wait for it to go again. There we go. Alright, so if we go ahead and crawl under this, we then have to wait for it to block off again and then we should be good to go. Alright, here we go. There. All right, on to the next one, we move on, there we go. All right, so this one can be a bit tricky. Uh, it's not too hard though, so if we go ahead and shoot this one right here, it should block off that one. And there, oh yikes, okay, there we go. All right, so once again, we're gonna shoot this one, I believe, and then we have to pull this lever here, and that'll switch something in this room, I don't remember what exactly, there it is. All right, so that should block off that laser going right there. And we can go on and move our way over here and drop down right there. Alright, so what we have to do here, go ahead and shoot that. And we can make our way down here to pull this lever. And then we're going to go ahead and remove that just to be safe that we, so that we don't die on an accident. There we go. And there we go. And drop down onto that. And drop down onto that. Alright, so if we go ahead and pull this lever, it should open up a whole new passage. Okay, so we'll go ahead and let this make shape before we make any moves, because I don't remember exactly what we have to do. I believe we just jump over this way, though, and make our way to this next lever. Oh, yikes. Okay, go ahead and pull that lever there. Alright. What we have to do here is go ahead and get all the way over here to the right, and then if we can go ahead and throw one down there, we gotta jump on into this and then jump our way into here. There we go. And pull this last lever, and that should get us over to the left, I believe. Oh, not quite. Alright, so we have one more thing to do before we get over there. We'll go ahead and shoot one right there, and drop on down. Now, there is no bonuses up there to the top left. I did actually check that on my first. Alright, so this part can be a bit tricky, you're just going to have to run for it. Uh, I wouldn't suggest trying to get this armor at the end. You can go ahead and try, and we're going to go ahead and try. Oh, we missed it, but oh well, we didn't get the armor. And we're going to move on to the next part of the base. Okay, so what we have to do here, let's see what part this is exactly. Ah, it is this part. Alright, so I've died once on this part, but that's okay, because frankly you might die quite a few times if you're actually trying to make this free reel. And now we're not going to do it the real way, because frankly that way is nearly impossible, so we're going to use a different way. So if we go ahead and throw a 3-bomb into that, we can then go like so, and blow up that last one. Now the last one's the only one you really need to blow up, because the rest are pretty easy to get across. So we go ahead and go like that, and drop down onto this one. And then I believe, yes, just like that, and we can pull it across this way, and then we can make our way easily across this bottom. Alright, so I've died three times now on this part, but that's to be expected. This part can be a bit challenging, but we're going to go ahead and dodge all these lasers and make our way across. There we go. And shoot one right there. Make our way across there. There we go. Go ahead and throw a beam down there. Yikes, that was close. Okay, and there we go. So we can now make our way through the door without getting zapped by the lasers. That was pretty close, but we made it. Alright, so what we're going to do here is go ahead and throw one right there. And, alright, so I have died on this place now twice. Now, as you can see, I am dying a lot in the moon base. Uh, there's not really an easy way around it, though. So it's going to take a lot of editing, and it might be kind of messy. And I do apologize for that. And I am stalling now because of the fact that I have to make it across this part. So what we're going to do is go ahead and wait for the second time to go around uh, to make it across that. And as you can see, it was pretty simple that time. Alright, now this is the negative zone I was talking about. Now you cannot throw any beams into it like that. Um, you can use your blast beams under it and it will still launch you up. So we're going to go ahead and do that now and get these bonuses. Ooh, what a fail blast beam. Alright, there we go. Okay, I would suggest having a few blast beams on hand just because it makes it that much easier. Oh, yikes. Okay, go ahead and come down on this ledge. Now, how do we do this part exactly? Let's see if I can remember. 
Alright, so we should be able to shoot a beam. Alright, so this part can be a bit tricky. I've died six times on it now. Ugh, I'm sticking with six. It's probably been about nine now, though. Okay, so go ahead and jump over like that. There we go. Alright. Go ahead and make our way across. I would suggest removing your beams right as you throw them, though, because you do seem to bounce back and forth across them. Go ahead and jump. Throw. There we go. Make our way into this. Okay, that didn't work. Throw one more there and make our way in. Alright, All right, so I've died again. Now, as you guys saw, we just got the life vest in the last room. We're going to go ahead and use that here, uh, probably. Now, I would suggest using your blast beams down there because the normal beams don't work. So, we're going to go ahead and jump on down and throw. There we go. Alright, so that didn't exactly work, but we did get a full life vest. Uh, where you, as you can see, there is a bonus area there. Now, we're going to try and make it without light, losing too many life vests. Alright, just one. So, we actually got through with more than we started with, which is not too bad. Alright, so I think that's where we're going to end the episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. It has been uh, pretty messy because of the fact that you die so many times. I'm going to try and edit it up and make it look all nice and good, though. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. Definitely be sure to rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And stay tuned for what's coming next month. It should be some pretty amazing indie games. And yeah, that's going to be it for today. So peace out, the 8-Bit Ninja.